Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to the second Smash the Answer quiz. Uh, this is a quickfire quiz, 50 questions over uh, 10 rounds. Uh, this time, though, we'll have a little quick break just after five rounds, a little two-minute break just so you can get a drink or something or whatever you need to do. So all in all, should last around about uh, 40 minutes, I'd imagine. Uh, worth saying again, as ever, it's just for fun, uh, so please be friendly, not too critical. If there's any typos or any ambiguity in the, either the questions or the answers, uh, and try to be friendly if you put anything in comments or anything in chat. Uh, it's also worth reminding that I uh, also do a pub quiz on Tuesdays, uh, which is slightly more of a sort of conventional pub quiz. Five rounds, ten questions, bonus rounds, etc. Uh, and this is on the same YouTube channel, so if you want to subscribe here, uh, then you'll get announcements uh, about those, or you can follow me on Twitter. Just simply look for Pub Quiz 60, which is all one word, uh, six zero at the end and no spaces, and then either follow me on there or uh, add any comments as well. Uh, all the videos after the quizzes are uploaded as well straight afterwards, so if you want to watch them again, if you haven't got time, or you want to share them with anyone else, see how they get on, then feel free. There again, they're all just on the same, same channel. Right, so I think go on with the quiz proper. Oh, I'll just lose that. There we go, so smash the answer. Uh, simply take the answer to the pictures that come up on the left and the answer to the question on the right. So you have to smash them together, create one long answer. Hopefully you might have seen that in the introductions that were uh, the introduction video that was playing just before we started now. But if we just do one more example question, that should hopefully get everyone into the, uh, the right idea at least of how things work. So you've got a picture on the left and then you've got a simple question on the right. It's neither of those we're looking for, it's a combination of the two. So in this example question, what is the name of the donkey in the Winnie the Pooh books gets combined with the answer to the picture on the left. So on that answer we have a chimpanzee on the left and the name of the donkey in the Winnie the Pooh books is Eeyore. So the answer we'd be looking for is chimpanzee or chimpanzee or. So that's how it works. It's a combination of smashing of the two answers from the picture and the words. So there's 10 rounds in here, uh, five questions around, so 50 questions. Like I say, there'll be a little break after uh, after five rounds, just for a couple of minutes, if you need to go and get a drink or pop out for whatever. Um, say it's just for fun, so just play amongst yourselves. So I'll leave the live chat open on this one because I won't be marking at the end of the round. Obviously the answers will come up straight away at, at the end of each question. So if we go straight in, we'll go into our first category, which is flowers. First question in the flowers category is, which original caramel sweet is owned by the German company August Stork. Which original caramel sweet is owned by the German company August Stork. So I'll get a little bit longer on this first one, maybe the first few questions, just so people can get into the, the hang of it. But all the questions are exactly the same format. Let's have a look. So I'll move on to the answer on that one. That one is Sunflower's Original. Sunflower Werther's Original. So a combination of Sunflower and Werther's Original. So again, you get the idea there. So that was the first question. So that was four a point. That is part of the quiz. Second question in the flowers category is, which TV show features celebrities competing against each other, miming to popular songs? Which TV show features celebrities competing against each other, miming to popular songs? And the answer to that one is Tulip Sync Battle. Tulip Sync Battle. Moving straight on to the third question in the flowers category. Which country bordering the Mediterranean Sea has the capital Damascus? Which country bordering the Mediterranean Sea has the capital Damascus? And the answer to that one is De Syria. De Syria. Daisy and Syria. Second last one in the uh, flowers category. Which American model was voted model of the year in 2016 by model.com? Which American model was voted Model of the Year in 2016 by Model.com? So again, the flower might be the obvious one, but then trying to get the model that fits around that. And the answer to this one is Bluebella Hadid. Bluebella Hadid. On to the last one in the flowers category. What is a genus of constricting snakes native to the tropics and subtropics of the Eastern Hemisphere? 
That sounds harder than it is, probably, but I'll say it again. What is a genus of constricting snakes native to the tropics and subtropics of the Eastern Hemisphere? And that's Popython. Popython. So that ends the flowers category. We're going to our second category. As I say, there'll be a break a couple of minutes just after five of the ten rounds. But we'll go straight into confectionery. So the first one in confectionery is... Who was manager of Arsenal from 1996 to 2018, the longest serving and most successful in the club's history? Who was manager of Arsenal from 1996 to 2018, the longest serving and most successful in the club's history? Now, as I was writing this, there might be two answers to this, but they both kind of fit in. The answer is Mars, Bars and Wenger, but it could be Mars and Wenger. You could just have the Mars rather than the Bar. So Mars, Bars and Wenger, or Mars and Wenger. Second one in confectionery. So you've got to guess the chocolate bar and combine it with who is the current Duchess of Cambridge? Who is the current Duchess of Cambridge? What's her real name? A few more seconds on that one. Chocolate bar should be easy. You can almost see the label in there, to be honest. And the answer to that one is Kit Kate Middleton. Kit Kate Middleton. Next one in confectionery. Who was a prominent leader and medicine man from the Bedankoe band of the Apache tribe? Now, a very tricky question that. Who was the prominent leader and medicine man from the Bedankoe band of the Apache tribe? So it may be easier to just look at the confectionery on the left and then think what could possibly follow that that might even be close to something on the right. So I'll give a little bit longer on that one. And the answer to that was Chocolate Orange Geronimo. Chocolate Orange Geronimo. So I'll move on to the penultimate one in confectionery. What is an ancient Egyptian writing system using artistic representations of ideas? Again, sounds wordy, but perhaps it just means pictures. Half the wrapper on there as well, but probably a fairly obvious chocolate bar. And the answer to that one is crunch hieroglyphics, crunch hieroglyphics. So I'll move on to the last one in the food and drink category. Who are the indigenous people who inhabit the northern polar region from eastern Siberia to Alaska? Who are the indigenous people who inhabit the northern polar region from eastern Siberia to Alaska? A few more seconds on that one. And they are... The Smarty Eskimos. The Smarty Eskimos. So that finishes that round. We'll move on to the third round, which is a food and a drink. First question in this round. Who are a Welsh rock band formed in 1994? They have released singles called Buck Rogers and Seven Days in the Sun. Who are a Welsh rock band who released Buck Rogers and Seven Days in the Sun? And the answer to that one, Coffeeder. Coffee and Feeder. Coffeeder. So next question. Who is a British-Polish professional ballroom dancer? She appeared as a professional on Strictly Come Dancing between 2006 and and 2015. Who is a British-Polish professional ballroom dancer on Strictly from 2006 to 2015? Slightly tricky one, but her husband is called James as well, as a clue. He also appeared on Strictly as one of the professionals. And the answer to that one is Coca-Cola Jordan. Coca-Cola Jordan. 
So question three in the food and drink round. What is part of the Rombolds Moor, the moorland between Ilkley and Keithley in West Yorkshire, England? What is part of Rombolds Moor, the moorland between Ilkley and Keithley in West Yorkshire? Possibly the most obvious picture on the left. And the answer to this one is Milkley Moor. Milkley Moor. So into the penultimate one in food and drink. What is a city and municipality in the Netherlands? It is Europe's largest seaport. City and municipality in the Netherlands. Also Europe's largest seaport. And the answer to that one is Karotterdam. Karotterdam. Moving on to the last one in this category. What is an American coffee company and coffee house chain founded in Seattle, Washington in 1971? What is a coffee company from America founded in Seattle in 1971? And the answer to that one is past Starbucks. Pasta and Starbucks, past Starbucks. So that's the end of that round. As I say, they were all going to be quite quick fire. Uh, so there's two more before we have a little couple of minute break. Moving on to TV chefs. First TV chef. What is the 1965 spy film and the fourth in the James Bond series? What is the fourth in the James Bond series of films from 1965? And the answer to that one is Delia Smith Underball. Delia Smith Underball. Move on to the second one. Now, hopefully, a chef that everyone recognises. What palace was the principal royal residence of France from 1682 under Louis XIV until the start of the French Revolution in 1789? French palace from 1682 to 1789. And the answer to that one is Jamie Oliver Sy. Jamie Oliver Sy. And the third one in this category. Which carnivor carnivorous semi-aquatic mammal has a den called a halt or a couch? Which carnivorous semi-aquatic mammal has a den called a halt or a couch? So the answer in this one could be the tricky bit, but the chef... Surely everybody knows. So it's just thinking, the ending of his name, what could lead into a semi-aquatic mammal? And the answer to that is Ainsley Harry Otter. Ainsley Harry Otter. Two more to go in the chef's category. What is a song written and performed by Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson... Released in October 1983. Song written and performed by Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Released in October 1983. Now, Chef again, surely an obvious one, very famous chef. So I'll leave a few more seconds to think what could possibly be the song that follows that. Okay, we just said it was quite quick fire, so we'll reveal the answer to that. It is Gordon Ram Say Say Say. Gordon Ram Say Say Say. Last one in the famous chef's round. What is a sweet dessert commonly made with milk or cream and sugar, thickened with gelatin or cornstarch? It is usually set in a mould and served cold. Long, long text outside to it. Hopefully you know the chef on the left. But what is a sweet dessert commonly made with milk or cream and sugar, Thickened with gelatin or cornstarch, usually set in a mould and served cold. A few seconds for that, just in case you don't know the chef, but you might know the, the text. 
one more round after this and then we'll have a little two minute break. So the answer to this one is Raymond Blamange. Raymond Blamange. Raymond Blanc and Blamange. So that ends the famous chef's round into the solar system. Five more questions and then we'll have a quick break. First one on solar system. What is the 300th anniversary of a significant event? What is the 300th anniversary of a significant event? So the planet might be easy. A few little clues on the planet, hopefully. And the answer to that one is... Jupiter Centenary. Jupiter and a tercentenary. Jupiter Centenary. Second one on the solar system. What is a six-word term coined by Timothy Leary to describe the psychedelic experience in the 1960s? So it's a phrase we're looking for describing the psychedelic experience of the 60s, coined by Timothy Leary. The planet, again, should be fairly obvious, I hope. And the answer to that one is Saturn on, tune in, drop out. Saturn on, tune in, drop out. Third one on the solar system. What is a British TV documentary series that follows a range of people on dates who have long-term conditions including disabilities, Developmental disorders and learning difficulties. Long question, easy picture hopefully, but combine the two. I'll leave this one a little bit longer just because the text is quite long. And the answer to this one is the Sun Datables. The Sun Datables. Two to go in the Solar System category. So fourth one is, what is a musical tool that produces an audible click or other sound at a regular interval that can be set by the user? A musical tool that produces an audible click at a regular interval. Now, the picture on the left is a specific one of the uh, item we're looking at, so we can either use a generic term or the name of this one. But the answer to this is Halley's Cometronome. Halley's Cometronome. But we'll just accept Cometronome, I think. So moving on to the last question in this round, and the last one before the break. What is a reference work for finding synonyms and sometimes antonyms of words? A reference work for finding synonyms and sometimes antonyms of words. Now the picture on the left, everyone should get, I hope. Leave it a little bit longer because that's quite a complicated question on the right. Easy picture, complicated question. But hopefully the end of the picture can feed into what maybe is a reference work. I think... And the answer to this one is the Earth Thesaurus. The Earth Thesaurus. Easy for me to say again, the Earth Thesaurus. So that's the first five rounds over. So I think we'll take a little two minute comfort break now. Uh, time to grab a drink, cool down a little bit, or do what we never need to do. So if I put two minutes on the clock, and then we'll, uh, we'll pop back down and commence with the last five rounds, and then see how everyone got. As I say, I'll leave the live chat on if anyone wants to put any comments on there, or how many they got so far out of 25 in the first five rounds, or any particularly good answers that they found. Um, but we'll be back in two minutes.
Well, welcome back everyone. Hopefully a little two minute break was enough time just to grab a drink or stretch your legs, whatever. Um, but I think we'll go straight back into the quiz to try and speed some things along. You can see from the comments, a couple of people have got 17 out of 25 for the first five rounds, which I think is more than admirable. Anything over 15 I think is good, and anything over 30 for the quiz as a whole is good. So keeping up that pace, 17 for the first, round, first five rounds. Kind of heading for 34 is the sort of target that everyone's trying to uh, trying to hit. That might be the leader's target. But as I say, anything over 30 could be absolutely superb. But I think we'll just move on. Move on to the next category in the quiz, which is countries. Again, five questions per category, and there's five categories to go before the quiz is over. So it's, what are words that make up a song, usually consisting of verses and choruses? What are words that make up a song usually consisting of verses and choruses? Country on the left, combined with the answer on the right, as ever. And the answer to that one is Ita lyrics. Ita lyrics. We'll move on to the second country. What is the 1976 song by the Swedish group ABBA and the lead single from their fourth studio album, Arrival? What is a 76 song by the Swedish group ABBA? So maybe the song's easier and then think of what the country might be, although quite a big country, so you might be able to recognise it from the, uh, from the map. Takes you back to your geography days at school, whenever those were. Some of you more than others, I can see by people who have joined. And the answer to this one is Canada Dancing Queen. Canada and Dancing Queen. Canada Dancing Queen. Next one in this category is, which Canadian won the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest where she represented Switzerland? She later recorded My Heart Will Go On. So the country on this one probably easier than the last one. Which Canadian won the Eurovision Song Contest representing Switzerland? Just a few seconds more on this one. I think we're on course for a 40 minute quiz, so I think we're doing okay. The answer to this one is France Celine Dion. France Celine Dion. And we'll move on to the third, uh, second last one in this category. What was the name of the landlord and landlady of the Queen Vic when EastEnders first aired? What was the name of the landlord and landlady of the Queen Vic when EastEnders first aired? Again, the country might be the tricky bit here, but maybe the answer to the uh, landlord landlady is easier. So thinking what country could lead into that? I'll give you a clue, it's the man's name first as well, if that helps with the country. And the answer to this one is Sweden and Angie Watts. Sweden and Angie Watts. I'll take Den and Angie, obviously. Sweden and Angie Watts. Moving on to the last one in this category. What is a British patriotic song with music by Edward, uh, yeah, Edward Elgar, lyrics by A.C. Benson, written in 1901? British patriotic song, music by Edward Elgar. Usually sung on the last night of the proms. Combine that from the country on the left. Uh, moving swiftly on, the answer is New Zealand of Hope and Glory. New Zealand of Hope and Glory. So that's the last one in that category. We'll move on to the next category, which is Parts of a House. So the first question in this category, what is an index that measures the stock performance of 30 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States? My goodness. What is the index that measures the stock performance of 30 large companies listed on the stock exchanges in the United States? Possibly the picture is the easier part of this, uh, this half. Hmm, I think to uh, 
keep with speed. We'll move on on this as well. But good if anyone got this. It's the Window Jones. The Window Jones or Window Jones Average. Moving on to the second one in Parts of a House. Who is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as forward for League One club Paris Saint-Germain and the Brazilian national team? A Brazilian footballer, Paris Saint-Germain and the Brazilian national team. And this is probably one you either know the footballer or you don't. I might not even be able to get it from the picture at the end. We'll move swiftly on with that one. It is a chimney mar. Chimney mar. On to the third one in the category, parts of the house. What is a song by English heavy metal band Motorhead released in 1980 as a single and the title track to an album of the same year? A song by Motorhead released in 1980. Just as a point out of all the questions, this was my favourite one. And the answer to this one is Fireplace of Spades. Fireplace of Spades. Two more to go in this category. Which group enjoyed success in the late 90s with hit singles We Like to Party, Boom 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 and We're Going to Ibiza? Which group enjoyed success in the late 90s with hit singles We Like to Party, Boom, 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 and We're Going to Ibiza? Combine that with the appliance on the left, should we call it? And the answer to this one is the Avenger Boys, the Avenger Boys. So into the last one and the part, uh, parts of the house category. What is an arrangement of the second movement in Johann Sebastian Bach's orchestral suite number three in D major, better known for the music to the Hamlet cigar adverts? So we can probably ignore the Johann Sebastian Bach a bit and maybe think more about the Hamlet cigar adverts. Famous piece of music used in their adverts. Not that they've been on TV for some time, obviously. Combine that with the item of furniture on the left. And the answer to this one is high chair on a G-string. High chair on a G-string. So that's that round over. We're now into the stationary round. So first one in the stationary round is... What is a cosmetic procedure used to remove unwanted body fat? It involves sucking out small areas of fat that are hard to lose through exercise and a healthy diet. What is a cosmetic procedure used to remove unwanted body fat? It involves sucking out fat. And that is... Paper clipper suction or paper clyposuction, however you want to pronounce it, paper clyposuction. On to the second one in the stationary category. Which American actor, director, writer, and producer had his first film, Citizen Kane, released in 1941? So, who had his film, Citizen Kane, released in 1941? Few more seconds on this one. And the answer to this one is Sis Orson Wells. Sis Orson Wells. Scissors and Orson Wells. Third one in the stationary category is Who is an English rock and blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter? He is the only three time inductee to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame once as a solo artist, and separately as a member of the Yardbirds and of Cream. So quite a long text question there, but maybe an, an obvious answer. Combine it with the stationary item on the left. Uh, 
And the answer to this one is Staple Eric Clapton. Staple Eric Clapton. Staple Eric Clapton. So two more in the stationary category. Which actor has played the lead role in the BBC television series Peaky Blinders, a series about a criminal gang in post-First World War Birmingham? Who played the lead role in BBC Peaky Blinders? Again, we'll probably ignore spellings on this one, as long as we get the answer roughly correct on here. And the answer to this one is Pencillian Murphy. Pencillian Murphy. Last one in the stationary round. What is a traditional seaside puppet show featuring a husband and wife? A traditional seaside puppet show featuring a husband and wife. Hopefully quite an easy one, this one. So the answer straight away is Hole Punch and Judy. Hole Punch and Judy. So two more categories to go. So ten more questions and the quiz is over. So we're doing quite well for time. Category for this one is UK Landmarks. First one in this category is Who are dental specialists who are university trained in the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of dental and facial irregularities? Who are dental specialists who are university trained in the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of dental and facial irregularities? A few more seconds on this one. And the answer is Angel of the Northodontists. Angel of the Northodontists. Next one in UK landmarks. In the New Testament, it is said that it is easier for a camel to go through what than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through what than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Those religious education classes years and years ago coming back to haunt. The answer to this one is London Eye of a Needle. London Eye of a Needle. Third one in this category. What is a motto traditionally associated with the title heroes of the novel The Three Musketeers? A motto traditionally associated with The Three Musketeers. Now, if anyone was writing these down rather than saying them, I'll leave a few seconds. It's quite a long one which might be a clue. But the answer to this one is Hadrian's Wall for One and One for All. Hadrian's Wall for One and One for All. Two more in this category. What is a 2002 British family romantic comedy sports film Starring Paminda Nagra and Kira Knightley. A 2002 British family romantic comedy sports film. Quite a few categories there. Starring Paminda Nagra and Kira Knightley. Quite a good answer this one as well. A few more seconds. And the answer is Big Bend It Like Beckham. Big Bend It Like Beckham. So one more in the UK landmarks category. Last one. Which superstar singer rose to fame in the late 90s as the lead singer of Destiny's Child, one of the best-selling girl groups of all time? Which superstar from the late 90s was the lead singer of Destiny's Child? Quite a long one to write down as well, so if you're writing it down, I'll just leave a few more seconds.
But the answer to this one is Westminster Abbey Yonsey. Westminster Abbey Yonsey. However you want to say that. So into the last category, the tenth of the day. Last one and it is music. So the first question in the music category is, what's the name of the Scottish professional football club based in the Govan district of Glasgow? Scottish professional football club based in the Govan district of Glasgow. Trying to guess the band from the left. Probably guess the era of the band. But who are they? Give you a little second on that one. I'm doing okay for time. As I say, I think it's going to be about 40 minutes this is, so it's a good way to pass, pass the time before hitting the garden for a nice weather drink on this lovely Good Friday. So the answer to this one is Duran Derangers. Duran Derangers. Move on to the second one in the music round. What is the British television game show based on and played similarly to the American show Card Sharks? It had Bruce Forsyth as its first host. British television game show Card Sharks it's based on with Bruce Forsyth as its UK host. Again, trying to guess the band on the left. Give it a few more seconds, because I know not everyone's up to speed so much with modern music, if you want to call this modern music. And the answer is, though, cold play your cards right. Cold play your cards right. So there's three more to go in the music round and the quiz as a whole. Born in 1938, who is a Japanese fashion designer known for his technology-driven clothing designs, exhibitions and fragrances? Born in 38, a Japanese fashion designer for technology-driven designs, exhibitions and fragrances. Now the band on the left you either know or you don't. Give it a little bit of time to think on this one, because it would be a good answer if you knew neither and still managed to get it right by combining either of the two that you did know. And the answer to this one is Kissy Mayaki. Kissy Mayaki. Two more to go, that's it. Two more to the end of the quiz. What are shoes or bindings that fit onto shoes that are worn to enable the wearer to roll along on wheels? What are shoes or bindings that fit onto shoes that are worn to enable the wearer to roll along on wheels? Now, the band on the left tartans a clue and the long hair gives the era. Who's the band? What's the answer? few seconds more for this one, just if people are thinking about the band probably more so than the uh, the shoes. And the answer to this one is, of course, the Bay City Roller Skates. Bay City Roller Skates. So on to the last question in the music round and also the last question on the quiz. With the first name Leo, who is considered one of the giants of Russian literature? His works include the novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina. First name Leo, giant of Russian literature, whose works include the novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina. Now the band on the left, probably guessable just by the attitude. And that might help lead into the giant of Russian literature on the right. And the answer to this one is Sex Pistols Toy. Sex Pistols Toy. Sex Pistols and Leo Tolstoy. Well done if you got that one. Well done if you got that one. That's it. So that ends the quiz there. Uh, so if you want to, I'll leave the uh, live, live chat open for a little bit longer. If you want to put any comments on there, 
Um, but yeah, hopefully you've all done okay on that. Just put your scores on and subscribe to the channel here or subscribe to my Twitter feed at pubquiz60. But hopefully I'll see you all soon. As I say, I'll leave the live chat up for a little bit now and let's see what little comments you put and who did well, who got the top score. Thanks again. <laughs>